Hello and welcome to another Microsoft 365 video. On today's episode, I want to show you how you can bring your Microsoft Stream videos to your SharePoint pages, either to display individual videos or to create interactive playlists with the videos that you already have stored in your SharePoint. So let's jump right into a SharePoint page and let's explore what are the possibilities you have to bring video content to your users. As you probably know already, Microsoft Stream used to be a separate app inside of Microsoft 365 and integrating with other Microsoft 365 applications was kind of hard and managing the permissions and the access to the files was also kind of hard. Well, to solve part of these issues, Microsoft created a new version of Stream now totally built on top of SharePoint, which leverages all the sharing goodness that SharePoint already has, making it a lot easier for you to share and make Microsoft Stream videos available to either internal or external users. On this episode, I will focus on how to make the videos available inside of your SharePoint pages for those of you that are already using videos hosted inside of your SharePoint document library. So I'm already here in this SharePoint page that is in edit mode and ready to receive new web parts. And when you start editing the page, if you look for a stream web part, you will notice that there is a new stream web part. And just by adding it to the page, it immediately gets all the videos that you have in the specific site where you are adding the web part. If you go and then look to the different options, we see that there are two different layouts one that displays the theater mode, that's what we have here with a big video at top and then three videos underneath it with a scroll that allows you to navigate back and forward in the videos that you have in the page. You can also switch this to this grid view that displays all the videos with the same size and then on click it opens and expands the video so you can actually preview it. You can configure a few other settings like the number of videos that are displayed in the web part or the number of rows and also you can change the source from where SharePoint is actually getting the videos from. So you can get the videos from the site where the page is and this is the default behavior of this web part so it will get everything you have inside of your system if that's not what you want and if you have videos stored in the side assets that you, you are using in a different context and you don't want them to surface in the playlist on your page then you can target individual folders inside uh, of the site or you can target single videos also inside of the site and it displays by default the recent videos for you to select from and when you do the individual video then you only get the big player for you to watch the video. This is one way of adding videos using the stream web part. It's convenient and it's built in inside of the platform. However, it's not like a typical playlist that we are all used to. Something like what exists in YouTube and other video uh, platforms, it's not available using this out of the box web parts. So to solve that, instead of using the stream web part, what you can do instead is to create a list inside of this site that will then add all the items where you will then add all the videos so they are displayed in the playlist format. So let's see how you can do that. I will jump right into the home page and I will quickly create a new list. From the gallery of templates, if you look close, there's a new type of list that it's called playlist and this has a different layout that's not compared with anything else that you have seen already in your SharePoint list or Microsoft lists. Please ignore the preview that it's displayed when you start creating the list. This will mislead you because the end result has nothing to do with this. This is showing you what are the columns that are being stored behind the scenes but the layout of the playlist has nothing to do with this. So I will move forward and select this list. I want to store this 
in the SharePoint site where I was working, so that I will change it from my list to the actual site. The name is fine, the color it's fine as well, so let's hit the create button and in a few seconds I will have my new playlist ready to receive new items. So keep in mind that I already have all my videos stored in SharePoint in this specific site collection and what I will do now is to add them in a collection that, are, that will be used as a playlist inside of SharePoint, particularly inside of the page that I was just showing. To do that, you will have to click in the Add Item. And when you do the Add Item, instead of getting a form that you have to fill, you will get a pop-up from where you will be able to select all the videos that you want to add to the playlist. As you can see, I have several different videos in here and I don't want to add all of them to my playlist. I want to create a playlist with this nature videos that I want to add specifically to that page. So I will select all of them and hit the select. You can add multiple videos and when you do this, by default, it adds the videos to the list. So the list exists in the SharePoint site. The videos are in here. To move to a different video, you simply need to click in the video that you want to play and it will immediately start playing in the stream playlist. Now let's see how we can add this video playlist to the SharePoint page. Well, the stream web part is not a solution, but we can use instead the lists web part. And the lists web part allows a user to embed any Microsoft list into a SharePoint page. So playlist, it's available in here. Just need to click on it. If you've provided a different name to your list, then it will be displayed in there with the name that you gave to the list. And here it is, my playlist, my videos, and the, the same exact behavior that I showed you in the Microsoft Lists interface. There are a few other things here that I want to adjust. I don't want the top bar, the comment bar to be visible, and I don't want the see all button to be visible as well. So I want to make this as a native web part that displays content just to the user so they can easily focus on what is in the web part and not in the surroundings and what are the actions that they can take into the list. So hit the apply button and just to show you how things look like, let me save this as a draft. And when a user lands into the page, they will see the uh, header of the SharePoint page. And then here is the web part showing the playlist. By default, the video is not playing. If the user wants to see the video, they will have to hit the play button and to change to another video, then they will need to click in the second on their, or in the third video. But when they do that, the video will automatically start. So the first time the page loads, there will be no background noise because the video automatically starts. But well, if you play the first video in the web part, then moving to the other ones, they will immediately start uh, playing. So this is a great way for you to bring your content to the internet and to bring multiple videos to the same location using a video format that we already know from other big platforms. Well, and this is everything that I have to tell you about Microsoft Stream videos in SharePoint pages. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to get notified about new upcoming updates. See you next time. Bye bye.